Here's how to delete documents and data on your iPhone. Now, if you're seeing documents and data taking up a bunch of space on your iPhone and you want it to free up some space, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's hop into settings here and you're gonna check two different places. One is you're gonna tap on your name at the very top. And then on here, we will tap on iCloud. Now here you can see iCloud Drive midway down. Let's tap on that. And you can see it is turned on and let's tap on this Manage Storage. On here you can see documents and data is taking up 169 gigabytes on my iCloud. If I wanted to delete that, you just tap the delete documents and data. It says this will delete all app data from your iCloud and all connected devices and it cannot be undone. So just tap that button, it will remove entirely all that 169 gigabytes. There is another place that you can check. Let's go back, go back again and go back again and go back again, and we'll tap on general. Now on here, let's tap on iPhone storage. This shows you all of the storage on your iPhone itself, not on iCloud, the first one was iCloud. This is on your iPhone itself. You can see all the various apps on here. And if you scroll down, you can, for instance, go into messages here and delete some of this documents and data, including the photos, videos, GIFs, stickers, all that stuff from your uh, messages app. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see on the bottom iOS and system data. Unfortunately, the first one is iOS. This is just the operating system on your phone. And the second one, system data, basically it's cache, log, and other resources that your iPhone uses to run. You cannot delete this manually. You can try to just restart your phone. That should reduce the amount of uh, storage that this is using, the number of gigabytes it's using. But ultimately, you don't have control over managing this resource your iPhone iOS will automatically control this and it'll fluctuate up and down depending on which apps you're using and how much you're using your phone. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.